Welcome to the Biography Shorts. I am your narrator, Frank Avella, and here we will be covering the short biography of the controversial Charles Darwin. We will be covering several different topics, but we're going to begin with a general introduction. So let's get right to it. Charles Darwin was an English biologist, naturalist, and geologist. In fact, he used his expertise in all three areas when producing scientific works. He is best known for the theory of evolution. His theory states that species change over time. They give rise to new species and they share a common ancestor. Much of his theory stems from his research in natural selection. Charles Darwin wrote the acclaimed book on the origin of species. This book is considered the fundamental basis for the theory of evolution. As a scientist, Darwin focused on facts and observation. He gathered observable evidence and discounted spirituality and religion in his work. So now let's take a look at his early life. Charles Darwin was born on February 12, 1809 in Shrewsbury, England. He was born in his family home. The family home was called the Mount House. Charles was the fifth of six children. His father was a wealthy doctor. Charles Darwin grew up with a life of privilege. He was well taken care of. Charles Darwin's grandparents were abolitionists. Abolitionists are individuals who staunchly opposed the institution of slavery. His grandparents led the charge. When Charles was younger, his parents pushed him into the medical field. However, Charles hated the sight of blood and he found medical school to be extremely boring, which led him to take up biology and geology. The next section is the voyage of the HMS Beagle. The Beagle sailed from Plymouth on the 27th of December 1813 under the command of Captain Robert Fitzroy. Darwin was invited to assist his biology professor as a naturalist scientist. Together they sailed around the world studying living things. Young Darwin, at age 22, collected species from all around the world. Perhaps his most interesting visit was to the Galapagos Islands where he found variations in the finches, which are birds. Darwin discovered that there were several species of finches that varied from island to island. Some variations were quite distinct. These variations can be explained by natural selection. Natural selection is part of our next section. The next section up is actually evolution. Darwin proposed that natural selection was the mechanism that drives forward evolution. Natural selection is the process whereby organisms better adapted to the environment tend to survive and produce more offspring. Evolution begins with an understanding that individuals of the same species are not identical. For example, some cats may be faster or taller or more agile than others. These traits are passed on from generation to generation. For example, taller people have taller children because they pass on their height to their children through their genes. Next, not all offspring can survive. There isn't enough food and shelter to go around for all these animals. Giraffes with the longest necks will be able to reach their food and survive, and the short-necked giraffes won't be able to survive. Only the survivors will pass on their traits. The fittest long-necked giraffes are the survivors. Over time you will see more and more long-necked giraffes. The next topic is his famous book on the origin of species by means of natural selection. The book was published on the 24th of November 1859. One could argue that this book changed the way our society looked at the world. In the book it provides examples of populations evolving over time. The publication of this book sparked conflict with religious views. One example is its opposition to creationism theory within the Bible and the age of the earth. Years later, scientific evidence has backed up this book. The scientific evidence that has surfaced came as more technology has become available to the scientific community. The idea of social Darwinism came about and it relates to the quote, fitness, but in society. The theory that individual groups and people are subject to the same Darwinian laws of natural selection as plants and animals. Next, we'll take a look at his personal life. Charles Darwin married his cousin Emma Wedgwood. Charles had fallen in love with his cousin and married her despite what others would think. 
Together, they had 10 children. Two died as infants. Darwin always feared for his children's health because they were inbred. Because of inbreeding, many of his children were not able to have children of their own. Other children did become very successful. Three of his children were actually knighted. Some of his children grew up to be renowned mathematicians and distinguished medical doctors. Charles Darwin died in London on April 18, 1882. The last topic up is fun facts, so let's get to it. Charles Darwin once ate an owl out of curiosity. He was always curious about things. He actually wasn't able to eat the whole thing though, unlike the hawk that he did once eat. His old captain Fitzroy from the HMS Beagle once named a mountain that he discovered after Charles Darwin. It is called Mount Darwin. Also, he loved to play the game backgammon. He often played backgammon when he was sick and bored. Now, let's finish this up with a famous quote from Darwin himself. A man's friendships are one of the best measures of his worth. So that's basically everything you ever need to know about Charles Darwin. Be sure to check out the next biography short on Martin Luther King Jr. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the bell on the subscribe icon to get notifications, please like and share the video, and for teachers, check the description for links to resources as well.